What's up folks at home? Welcome back to the channel. You ever been fishing in a fall day that's unseasonably warm, flat, calm water, no wind? Well, the baits that they tell you that they work in the fall, the blade bait, the jerk bait, the A-rig, that stuff, it doesn't work on days like this. Let's go underwater, check out baits what I throw on a calm days like this in the fall. We'll see you underwater. All right guys, skipping the intro today. The first bait that I'm going to throw on calm cold water days to catch numbers of bass is the drop shot. And the first bait that I'm going to put on that drop shot is the Berkeley Power Bait Maxent Flatworm. I have so much confidence in this lure combination right here in cold water. Maxent just makes all the difference. The flatworm, the dead action of it, kind of the subdued subtle nature of it. Now I have two colors that I really like to throw and enjoy throwing. Um, I like to throw this white color um, on days when it's really sunny and the water is clear. On other colors um, and other days, I'm gonna throw a slightly different hue, but I have a lot of success around bait schools. Uh, a lot of cold water bites are really related to where shad are, where bait fish are. Uh, almost exclusively so I'm gonna throw shad colors this white color is really good also I like this black and silver um, color and it's kind of like that smelt color and both of them are good you just have to experiment with what the fish want that day the flatworm is honestly the first thing that I am going to throw in terms of um, that first bait up and it's because of the subtlety of the bait itself the Maxent bait line works in water here. Here is some cold water, right? As cold as it's gonna get, 43 degree surface temps. This is right before ice up. Essentially drop shotting a Maxent worm in any remaining grass, any remaining vegetation on the deeper break lines is going to give you a chance to get bit, right? Beaver Dam Lake is notorious for having small mouth and large mouth in it. So you never know what you're gonna catch and it delivers right? It flat out delivers. I really enjoy it, but it doesn't work in every situation. Um, I really enjoy the Maxent Worm, but I also really enjoy their Blunt Nose Minnow. And here you're going to see the Blunt Nose Minnow coming into the screen. And the Blunt Nose Minnow um, is tapered on one side and not on the other. And I really like it because it has a slow, seductive fall on the pause. And it also has that dying bait fish profile. When you see schools of bait and you see bass suspended, this is what I'm going to throw nine times out of 10. So if I'm fishing a bottom contact and bottom oriented fish, I'm throwing the Maxent flatworm. If I'm fishing higher in the water column and letting this flow through schools of bait, the blunt nose minnow is gonna get the call. And it gets the call because of the action that it has on the fall and the action that it has on the twitch and recover. I really, once again, like white in terms of bait fish, but there's also a really good bite on perch around here and especially in the northern part of the country. So I like to mix in the green pumpkin flake maxent when I'm around a lot of perch. If I'm getting bigger perch to bite that maxent, I will throw this down there and you'll oftentimes pick off some small mouth or large mouth that are hanging around the smaller schools of perch, even crappie. And I really like that green color flowing down because it looks like a wounded or injured bait fish coming into the picture. And it's just another way to mix it up. It also does really, really good on clear water days and bright Sundays to give them something that looks very, very, very natural, right? This is a great way to target suspended fish this time of year. If they're not gonna eat the A-Rig, they're not gonna eat the tactical speed crank, they're not gonna eat the single swim bait, they're not gonna eat the jerk bait, they will eat this bait twitched through the school because it just simply is subtle enough. Your next bait is a classic bait for the desperate times when I need to catch a fish, right? And it is the Ned rig with the Z-Man TRD worm. I throw the TRD almost exclusively in cold water because of the way that it interacts and stands up on the bottom. And I'm going to inch this worm along in cold water. This is when a cast, a long cast, is gonna take two minutes to complete because I'm inching this bait along. It literally stands up nice on the fall right here. You can see as I'm barely twitching it, that tail kicks up and it stands there. And it is ready for a bass to come and pluck it up off the bottom. The TRD excels in cold water at getting bit when nothing else will. 
Now, the downside of the TRD is that you can't store them with other baits or they're going to melt. But the upside is that they literally will catch fish when nothing else will. I've really, really, really done a good job in cold water generating bites with that TRD. Now, not all your bites are going to be huge, but a bite is a bite sometimes on the water. And as you can see here, it will catch them when nothing else will. But the beauty of the TRD is that it stands upright on the bottom, it's extremely durable, and it's got a nice gliding action in deeper water. And literally, fish will bite it when nothing else will. For whatever reason, it does a fantastic job at generating bites. Same thing can be said here for the next bait we're throwing, the tube. I throw the Maxent tube, it's a fantastic bait. Now, the tube literally has the same characteristics as a jig, but it's just more finesse. You can see that spread there as it hits the bottom and kind of creates that little poof of sand on the bottom. Fish love that, they love to react to that, but it's a little more subtle than the jig. It's also gonna get bit in colder water temperatures, and I have more confidence throwing it everywhere. In contrast to that, if I'm fishing around a lot of rock, I'm going to pick up the finesse football jig for various reasons, simply because the finesse football jig, as it comes through the rock, you can see here, it looks just like a crawfish, but it also creates that bottom composition transmission that the fish really key into this time of the year. I throw it on a chunk trailer exclusively. I don't want a trailer doing a whole lot, and I want this bait to be in contact with the bottom most of the time. So you see here, I got some scattered rock. Anytime that jig hits a rock, it's gonna make a nice clicking noise. And that I feel like helps generate a lot of bites in cold water. The tube and the finesse jig are really one and the same. They have the same kind of profile in the water, but they do a great job of generating bites when the water is brutal and the fishing is really, really, really tough. Folks, I hope you enjoyed going underwater, checking out the drop shot, the maxim baits. I use the tube, the finesse jig, the little arky shed, all those things that can help you catch fish on a calm day like today fish will move shallow fish will stay deep you got to kind of find where they're at soaking soft plastics this time of the year on days like this that's how you're going to catch them hey let us know in the comments what you want us to see next hey we're growing we'll see you out there folks say hi to us on the water leave something in the comments for us we'll see you next time